First of all, it's his, uh, his view. You can see it on his eyes. Uh, when he is so focused, he's so into his bubble. He doesn't care about the cameraman following him or the service guy or athletes, for example. For him, each step is important. Et quand il n'est pas devant, il n'aime pas. He never quits. He never gives up. Il est concentré à 100% sur ce qu'il fait tout le temps. Lui, ce qu'il veut, c'est essayer de découper toutes les courbes du haut jusqu'en bas. Of course, he's not the strongest one, he's not the fastest one, but he knows how to use the strength he has, and that's enough for him to ski fast. He's, uh, until this point, he hasn't really, he's not been like the training horse, he's the race horse. On the physical training part, coordination and uh, strength and stuff, I was really weak. And I remember Einar, he almost didn't say anything positive because I was so bad. And he used to he used to take video of everything and I was always youngest, so I was always the last one to go. And then he stopped filming before me because I was so bad. It was basically true, but through the years now I've worked quite hard with uh, changing that. And uh, I think today, uh, he could be proud. There is no secret. There is a, just a lot of training, a lot of passion. So it's not all about being the strongest one. For, like, for example, like Kilde, who is more or less the strongest I ever seen in Alpine skiing. Actually, Henrik is really strong. He almost lifts his body weight two times. We have the engine, and the engine we need to train more on ski. So last season we did a lot of uh, core training, and there Henrik is maybe one of the best we have. We have a test metal from school kids up to the top athletes. It's uh, all agility, it's endurance, it's strength, and it's a quickness, and it's anaerobic testing. And you have to have at least 400 points to get into the team in this Ironman test, dryland test. If you are not, even if you are best skier, you don't get on the team. So we always say in Norway we train physical to train more on ski. C'est quelqu'un qui est à l'écoute si s'il si est dans un bon joueur. <rire> C'est juste parce qu'il se met tellement dans une condition où il veut progresser et être meilleur tous les jours. Ben, et ça arrive que ben, des fois tu pètes un câble, tu gueules ou tu es de mauvaise humeur. I wasn't the fastest on timing in training. I was always skiing good. I wasn't really bad, but there was always one or two guys beating me. I was a little further behind. There's a lot of, a lot of guys that's been winning training runs, me including. But it's easy. I mean, you don't, you don't get trophies winning trainings, <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs> Il a tellement besoin de nombre de manches, de kilomètres sur les skis, qui met beaucoup de temps à se mettre en place. Et par contre, une fois qu'on se rapproche de octobre, novembre, ça marche mieux. Mais il est plus gros travailleur que ce qu'il d'instinct. Il est super exigeant avec lui-même. Et quand il n'est pas devant, il n'aime pas. Il gueule un coup et ça va mieux. Of course, I'm older, a little bit smarter, I hope. Uh, so I don't need to like show everybody that I'm angry, but still inside it's uh, it's basically the same feeling as before. He really knows what he needs to do and what he needs to work on. So yeah, one one other thing with Henry is, uh, I mean, his, his real strength is his consistency. There's very few mistakes. Alors sa philosophie à lui c'est d'essayer d'être le plus propre possible sur la carte le long de la courbe. Lui, ce qu'il veut, c'est ça. In training, he's, he's, I mean, he's as stable as he's in the race, but he gets faster when there's pressure on him. Henrik is really, really strong mentally. Don't start, it's, you can feel the tension in him and how he build up his kind of uh, competition mood and he's in his own bubble. Mais il y a quelque chose qui est différent entre lui et les autres. Il arrive à se mettre dans des situations où on va pousser vraiment très loin. Ils ont tous des moments où ils le font, mais lui, il le fait peut-être un petit peu plus souvent. 
Mais après, je pense que c'est dans sa nature. I don't, I don't know if it's a sickness or not, but I think every athlete who has become good in a sport and has become a champion and a legend has, uh, has had the same drive and has always moved forward and uh, always had the motivation to, uh, to train and uh, become better.